Alright there, it's your old mate Yorkie here, bringing you another episode of My Humble Opinion. When I take a quick look at the games on the monthly Humble Choice bundle, sometimes other bundles too though, that's rare. Um, right now we have Shapes from the September 2022 monthly Humble Choice. I don't hold a lot of hope for me enjoying this one, but we'll see. Um, let's, have a, let's have a start and just see what's what. Place an extractor on top of a circle shape to extract it. Where's the extractor? Oh, that's an extractor. On top of a circle shape, huh? Like that. Connect the extractor with a conveyor belt to your hub. Is is that my hub? That's my hub. Oh, okay. That's not right. Hang on, that's right. Got a drag and drop. Uh, or drag it, rather. This is not an idle game. Build more extractor belts to finish the goal quicker. Hold shift to place multiple extractors and how to rotate them. You just unlocked a cutter, which get, uh, cuts shapes from the top half to the bottom, regardless of its orientation. Be sure you get the uh, rid of the waste, otherwise it will clog and stall. It's purpose has been given the trash, which destroys everything you put into it. Place a cutter to cut the circles into halves. Always cuts from top to bottom. All right, so like that. Okay. Cut a clone, clog, and stall. Use a trash to block that. Let's get rid of that. Now place two more cutters to speed up the show. All right. I guess we can do that. that one. Coming over to that trash. And then can we do one that pulls that way. Ooh. Oh that's not gonna work then. That didn't work. Alright. Put that back on. Put that back on. Actually, uh, what we can do, do that. Oh, we were, okay. Unlock upgrades. All chips you produce can uh, you be used to unlock upgrades. You don't destroy all factories. The upgrades tab can be found on the right. Upgrades, C1. Belts and distributors. All right, upgrade. Tier two belts, etc. All right, whatever. Now let's extract some rectangles. Build for extractors. All right. Hold shift. Yep. On there. Hold shift. Did I? On there. On there and one there. Connect them to the hole. Well, we'll go over this way. Go there. We'll go here. We'll go. Yeah. 
might rather get any of them there. And delete the stuff that's no good to me. Oh, it's building up to 70, I get it. Complete! The multifunction balancer has been unlocked. It can be used to build bigger factories by splitting and merging items into multiple belts. Alright, and what? on. Like that. Uh -huh. Hang on, that one's not going in. them in. I don't quite get it. Right. Oh, I suppose I can do that, but why would I need to? Alright, if that's how you want me to do it, that's the way you want me to do it, isn't it? So... Bloody way, isn't it? That's why. Ah, that was there. Yeah. Now, this we're going to get rid of all of that. What we're going to do is we're going to come down here and across there. I'm going to put another in there. Put a cutter. Beat there. And this one. Need a cutter there. We need that going there and that going there. We need that coming down here and going across there. And that's cutting how it needs to now. It should be, yeah. Useful key bindings. You know what? This is pretty much what I thought it was going to be. I'm going to stop there. Um, definitely not coming to the channel. It's a nice sedate game. It's just a little puzzle thing. It's uh, it reminds me a little bit of um, 
gunsmith tycoon, I think it's called. Um, but that's more interesting because you're actually building things from camo gloves up to vehicles in the end. I think you're, I'm thinking of extending it to build vehicles now. But for a little simple puzzle game, actually probably getting more and more complex the more you go on, it's fine. It's good. It's okay. But it's not something I hold any interest in, simply because there's a lot of other games that I've got that I can play that are a lot more interesting. Welcome to the channel. It doesn't fit. It's not something I can build a storyline out of. So, uh, there is that. Does it, is it worth a buck fifty? Is one of, my, one of my usual questions. In other words, does it pay for its slot in the monthly Humble Choice bundle? I think it does. Um, I think you can get a couple of hours or more out of this if you just wanted to have a nice little sedate play. Is it worth 12 bucks? I'm really not sure it is. Um, there's a lot better indie games out there. It's a nice sedate game. If you want to play that kind of game, then maybe it will be for you. But for me, I'm looking at this saying, nah. Um, so it doesn't pay for the whole humble bundle. Not at all. Not really. Uh, graphics and so on are all nice and simple. There's nothing special about them. The music's actually quite pleasant. And the mechanics, yeah, the, the simple, easy to understand mechanics that's just going to build up in complexity the further along you go to make it more and more interesting what you've got to build up for your little factory here. So, it's not for me. But I can see it being there for someone who just wants a nice, sedate puzzle game. And that's my view. I'll see you next time. Bye now.